Hello everyone! Have a wonderful day to all of you. So welcome back again guys to my YouTube channel, A Foreigner and Filipina in Philippines. Yes, today I am here beside our chicken coop because I've been cutting some of the branches of our Madre de Agua. We've been planting this one about more than a year already. And... We planted in this side here and even in the other side of our chicken coop. So look at this. But in this part they are getting bigger already. In here. Yeah. So this is what we call the Madre de Agua. Look at the leaves. Yeah, I've been using this one before when we still have our chicken here as a uh, feeds and so far they are growing healthy in the side okay guys so these are the cuttings that i got by our chicken coop area so this is what we call the plant madre de agua or what we call the mother of water there are a lot of benefits and usage that can be used in this kind of plant yeah so one of this this can be used as a good feeds alternative to our livestock like our chicken goats cow pigs horses and even on our fishes yeah like the leaves here i've been using this one for our chicken before so when we have our chicken by our chicken cook this is why i mix it with our feeds and also guys some people use this to help the colic and hernia of the horses and it will also recover the placenta of the animals and not only that people before use the sprout of madre de agua for food consumption especially for the lactating mother yeah they gonna put this in the porridge i guess so i guess this part here like a very new leaves yeah so what i gonna do on this one i gonna take out all the leaves and then i only gonna plant the steam here yeah but the leaves i will not throw it away i gonna cut it into a very small pieces so i can feed it to our tilapia by our fish pan and also some people like to plant this one to for the courses of their water and also to use as a fence for protection i guess so yeah since it has a good benefits for us so i gonna plant a lot of this yeah so i gonna start taking out these leaves and then i do something on the branches okay guys so let's start preparing the branches of madre de agua or the cuttings that i am going to plant so what i'm going to do is just take out all the leaves yeah, that's what I do the first time I planted it here. So I cut all the leaves. But I will not throw the leaves away. I'm gonna save it for using it as a feeds for our tilapia. I have her a scissor and a knife. <laughs> what we're gonna do I just take out all this leaves here uh, I have water in the bucket so what I'm gonna do is I think this one is quite a gonna cut it twice and on the tips of the branch here especially this part yeah. 
I'm gonna cut it. Take out the skin. So easy for them to grow. Why oh, I put that on there? Oh, it didn't all come off. It come out? No. I think it's... And I put it in the bucket where I have water. Soak it there first. Okay guys, so I'm just going to plant it in the soil already, these cuttings. And I already suck it in water for about few minutes. Anyway, I just put them together in the soil. Okay. Ako Kung maugat na ba? but when it start rotting I gonna transfer it on the pots Okay guys, so we are back here now. Since I am uh, finished planting all the cuttings already by the soil and then when that cuttings are start rooting, I'm gonna transfer it on pots, big one. So I have heard some leaves that I see so it won't get wasted. What I am going to do is to chop it into a small pieces. So I can feed it to our tilapias by our fishman. So let's start chopping it. Okay guys, since I finished chopping some of the Madridi agua leaves, so I am here now by our fish pan. We'll see if the tilapia would like to eat it. So this is the Madre de Agua that I have chopped into small pieces. So I'm gonna try to feed it to our tilapias here in the pan. We'll see if they like to eat it. Let us try to get some. So we'll try to feed the tilapia. We'll see if they like to eat it. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay guys so I already feed all the chopped madre de agua to our tilapias here in the pond so good thing they start eating it already yeah. as you can see over there the water movement it means there are some fish there eating the leaves of madre de agua that I thrown up in there 
So, that is nice to know that they like to eat it also. At least, we have something to have an alternative to feed our fishes hair and also other livestock that we have in the farm. But right now, we only have fish for the meantime because all our chicken are no more. <laughs> so, I guess maybe someday, yeah. Wow, look at that, guys. The fishes are eating the chopped leaves of Madre de Agua already. It's nice to see them eating. Mm. Wow. So, I guess tomorrow morning, I'm gonna chop some leaves again and feed them. Look at that over there. Wow. I guess that is for today's video guys. Thank you for watching and please do not forget to subscribe into my YouTube channel. Do like, comment, and share. Thank you all and stay safe. See you next time.